board and welcome to another episode of FUBA. Today, I want to show one of the easiest way to deploy containers in AWS. This is using Amplify new feature that is support for container-based deployment. If you want to know more about serverless cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post videos every week. So let's get started. <laughs> watch this channel frequently, you know I love Amplify and during reInvent 2020, the biggest AWS conference, another announcement went kind of under the hood, the support for Amplify for container-based deployments. So Amplify is a tool that allows you to do web and mobile apps super simple in the cloud. It um, gives you a lot of opinions and basic CLIs and web tools to use AWS services that tend to be very complex to use directly if you are not familiar with them. So Amplify is one of my favorite tools when getting started with AWS. And now the container-based deployment is a great feature to enable other users that are maybe not that familiar with Lambda or serverless and still want to take advantage of Amplify. I want to show you a demo to illustrate the power of Amplify container-based deployments. For doing this demo, you need to have an AWS account. You need to have your account configured in your machine and Amplify as well. If you don't have that, I'll leave you a link on the instructions on how to do that with Amplify. But uh, after you have that, then you will need a container image application. If you don't have one, I follow the Docker tutorial for getting mine. So I will leave you also the description on the Docker 101 tutorial to get your um, image and then you're ready to move into the demo. So first thing we want to do as always when we get started is create a new directory, empty directory with a name that is something descriptive. Amplify container getting started is the name I choose. So choose something that helps you. Then uh, you get into that directory and you initialize the Amplify project. If you never heard about Amplify, you don't have a clue what I'm doing and uh, you want to know more, I leave you a playlist where you can go and learn all the basics. But for now, do Amplify init and configure your project. This is basically saying OK and going through all the defaults. That works pretty fine. The most important part here is if you have multiple AWS profiles, select one that is good for you and you want to use. And then when Amplify initialize, then basically you will it will create some uh, buckets, S3 buckets and roles and permissions in the cloud to deploy this application, but not really much. This takes a while, so I will speed up until it completed. And the next thing we want to do is to run a command called Amplify Configure Project. This is a command I never spoke about. This allows you to configure your Amplify project that you just initialized. And when you go through the configuration here, you will be presented with an option that says uh, if you want to enable container-based deployments. And this is the one that we want to stop and say yes. So this is the one that should not be the default. Say yes to this one and then continue with the defaults and you're done. Now you can add a API and when you add an API, you do amplify add API and we will add a REST API. So this will be, uh, the architecture will be API gateway and then in the back far gate. So that's what we want. So we do amplify add API and now you will see that it's a REST and when you do REST, it appears the API gateway and um, Firegate before, if you don't have the container-based uh, deployments enabled, it will be only API Gateway and Lambda as we have seen in the past. Put a name and then basically you need to choose if you want to have an example application. So if you have not a um, Docker application in your computer already, you can pick one in Python or in uh, Node, or you can bring your own. I will be bringing my own so you can see how you can bring your own as well. So I will put custom and then I want to build and deploy to Fargate every time I do amplify uh, push or you can do it from the CI CD if you have that enabled with the git commit whenever there is a new commit in your project it will basically uh, push it to uh, will deploy the new Fargate. I will just go with amplify push because we are doing it locally and then 
it ask if you want to restrict the API, you say no, because we don't want to complicate things. But if you want, you can add Cognito or whatever kind of uh, authentication and authorization to your API. Now we're ready to open this in the Visual Studio Code and start adding some uh, application there. You can see in the side, we have the Amplify directory inside our project. And if we go there, you will see that there is a backend directory. And inside the backend directory, there is an API directory with the name of the API that we just created. So we could have multiple APIs and we can have multiple containers as well. And then a folder called source. So we'll open this in Finder and inside that source folder, I will just bring all the files for my application that I want to containerize. I copy them all here and then I can see them from Visual Studio Code. The most important one is the Docker file and there uh, I need to have the Docker file as always. And the important thing is to have the port that you want to open. In this case, this application requires 3000 port. So don't forget to expose the port there. If not, this Amplify will not know which port it needs to uh, configure in your Fargate. So it will not work. So don't forget to do that. And then we are ready to push this application into the cloud by doing Amplify push. So let's try to explain what is happening here. Basically, Amplify CLI will grab this application and push it to the Elastic Container Registry. So that's AWS Container Registry and it will create a private repository there and it will create your application. Then it will create a Fargate cluster with tasks for Fargate that are linked to this application that is in the Elastic repository that we just created for the containers. Also configure uh, the Fargate to have an endpoint that is open to the port of your application, in this case 3000, with everything set in place for you uh, there. So you don't need to do any kind of configuration. You just do Amplify Push with that line of code, your application will happen and everything will flow. If in the future something in your application change, you only need to do Amplify Push or if you have chosen the CLI way, just add the files to GitHub and whenever there is a commit, Amplify will redo your Fargate and push everything there. So this is pretty, pretty neat. The deep Amplify push the first time takes like 10 minutes, so I will skip everything forward until we are done. When we are done, we can see that there is an endpoint and that's the container endpoint linked to our application that we define in the Docker file. So it's to port 3000 where our application is running. So if we open that URL in the browser, we will see our node application. And there we can add nodes, remove nodes, use the application as we will. So this is pretty, pretty powerful. If we go to our AWS console and we open the, the container service, we will see that there is a Fargate cluster. We will see the task definition. We will see it all because Amplify is just creating these resources and there will be in your AWS account for you to check them out and also to use CloudWatch metrics and understand how your application is behaving and see the logs and all that stuff that you are familiar. So Amplify is just helping you to create this infrastructure. So this is extremely powerful. So that was the video for today. All the links are in the description box as always. And if you want to know more Rainbow launches or more about Amplify, let me know in the comment box below. I think this was a very powerful launch that was kind of missed from the whole Rainbow Shaboom. I see you in the next episode of Uber. Ciao, ciao!